I've said in some of my previous videos, I drive a lot. And well, I guess close to half of that driving is uh, night driving. Uh, if there's one thing that bothers me about driving at night, it's all those new vehicles with their bright white lights. I know getting older, most things about me get better. For some reason, eyesight is not one of those things. I can't see. I'm blinded every time those bright white lights go by. They should be illegal. So I'm going to do the right thing. I'm going to put them in this. Uh, this is a 2003, so didn't come with them. They have a, they call it a kit to change them over from halogen to LED. Um, I'm not going to get into the technical crap, but uh, it, it, they're just pl plug and play basically. So I, I'm going to change them and I'm going to do a real world demonstration and see how much better they are. I'll drive at night with these and film everything and i'll drive at night at the same time of night with the new leds we'll see if there's a difference now i went and bought some i bought kind of middle of the road ones just like the halogens that are in there right now they're kind of middle of the road the halogens are about uh, to replace them for me here in canada it's uh, 50 60 bucks something like that these are 90 100 bucks something like that so these are double the price right there well that's that's not a definite plus is it however the halogens have a one year warranty guarantee whatever these are three that is better if these last three times longer they cost twice as much well you're kind of ahead of the game right there. So uh, let's uh, see if I can put these things in. I know it's probably a terrible job on most vehicles. It's not a good job putting them in. The designers of these vehicles, uh, I don't know whether they were, they go out golfing all day and then the last 10 minutes of the day they go back to work and design for 10 minutes because headlights they're all basically kind of a universal thing now with that stupid little springy clip thing it's just garbage it's the best thing they can come up with after making vehicles for over a hundred years anyways let's get to it okay let's see what we have in the box Ooh. okay well they give you some tiny little tie wraps and these are what they look like i guess they must they must get hot they have a little fan built into them on the end. And then they have this, which seems to be a transformer or a... Yeah, it doesn't really say what it is. Looks like a little transformer, a little ballast type thing. And it's fairly straightforward. Just end up having this little extra bit of crap here. Now here, instead of having the halogen bulb, you have a LED light emitting diode I think like usual there's an issue this boot goes on the back of the headlight however after forcing all this stuff through this boot there is no way that this boot is going to fit back on because of this big thing issue number one already looks like I don't know maybe I might have to cut and alter the boot to fit this thing but even then the wire comes out right here on here so how how is where the wire comes out how is it supposed to fit on the boot properly either that or this thing goes right through it but that's not gonna happen cheesy bulbs are installed uh, the dust covers that go on the back of the bulbs not so much installed there's absolutely no way they will fit which tells me that eventually dust is going to get in there's nothing in the instructions about the dust covers 
and the way these are you just i don't know i'll see if i can come up with something but before i even do the try to do anything with the dust covers i want to make sure they're going to work well they come on and that's an odd thing because you can hear little fans in them going Zzzz. they they both seem to work but i'll uh do the test tomorrow morning and we'll see how if they are brighter this morning at four o'clock i recorded what the original ones were like the halogens so we'll be able to compare it tomorrow morning it'll just be a split second for you though you can see the difference here because of the snow uh once we get down onto the main road though you're just gonna see mostly blackness uh, for some reason the camera doesn't pick it up maybe because the road is black uh, not really sure Okay, so this is what I was talking about. The road is just black. Can't see much of anything. From that video, it might be a little tough to tell. The um, camera doesn't really pick up the light, as you can see. The LEDs are better. I don't know whether or not they're worth the extra money. I probably would not go out and buy them if I knew what I know. Like if the LEDs I bought were like 90 bucks, so with 90 bucks, you could probably go out and buy halogens that are top of the line, and they would probably have the three year warranty and they would probably be as good or better than the LEDs. The other thing is, uh, the LEDs apparently do not work very well in fog, and uh, we have. We have fog up here, a lot of it. So it's uh, six, one, half a dozen, the other. But anyways, they are they are better. I will keep them for now. I don't know whether or not I'll alter my boots on the the dust covers or not, because I might just go back to buying better halogens next time. I don't know. We'll see. Time will tell. It's been a week with the new headlights. Verdict is I like them. I did manage to get those rubber boots, the dust covers. I got them on, a few choice words, uh, some stretching and some hand gouging and yeah, not a problem. They're on now. <laughs> Anyways, uh, they still work, I hope. Yep, that one's working. That one's working. I was listening to the fans. It's still strange. So I guess that's it for now. I'll uh, I'll keep you informed if anything does happen to them. That'll be another video. Thanks for watching.